yes once again i've been asked to also do uh using first principles the differentiation of cos x and uh, <coughs> in this video i want to illustrate as i did uh for the uh fx of sin x and uh, i'll start with my formula of course we know for first principles which says f inverse of x equals to the limit as h tends to zero f x plus h minus f of x over h so this is our universal formula we are using as i told you our fx is this so right away i'll bump into the answering i have cos but i told you whenever you see x you attach h that's what it says x plus h then minus f of x f of x over h yes i will have cos x plus h minus cos of x over h i hope you are following so from the identities of factor family i'll bring back the remembrance of these identities because they are so useful when it reaches to such numbers or expressions so again using the factor formula i'll look for where i have cos because i have a cos minus a cos and this time our p will carry the whole of this bracket and our q will carry the x so from the previous identities i had shown you the cos p minus 2 is negative 2 sine p plus 2 over 2 sine p minus 2 over 2 so following the same criteria i will have negative 2 sine the whole of this bracket which is x plus h then plus x everything over 2 again sine of x plus h minus x over 2 so this is how it rhymes over over h so i will have negative 2 sine negative 2 sine x plus x that is 2x then plus plus h 2x plus h over 2 sine the x will cancel each other and you have h over 2 over h so i will have negative 2 sine x plus h over 2 sine h over 2 over h but i want to eliminate these two i have to find a way of eliminating the two so i will divide by two the numerator and the denominator so these two will find a way of cancelling these two and i will be remaining with negative sine x plus h over 2 sine h over 2 over h over 2 so without much further wasting time i'll go back to the limit as h tends to 0 the sine x 
plus h over 2 this one it will tend to sign x if I feed in h tending to 0 and also the sign h over 2 over h over 2 this one will tend to 1 so my answer will be negative sign x and this is the final answer so if we differentiate cos x using first principles we shall get negative sign x so you can try other methods they, are, they still work thank you very much please like subscribe comment uh, for the growth of the channel bye